Okay, so for the half diminished triad and the short patterns, short pattern stack, pretty much what we're looking at is seven, two, four. I went over these like a fine tooth with a fine tooth comb this morning to make sure they were all right. Seven, two, four. Because you know, I had left out some stuff. And uh, that makes it even more confusing, right? So here's our triads. The string shapes we play for the half diminished stay in the D shape. It's going to just be two, four. We're going to skip the A shape because it doesn't have anything we're looking for. The E shape's going to be seven, two. So we're going to go. Okay, then just the four in the C shape. Just the seven in the D sh in G shape. And then once again above the G, we have what? D shape. And D is going to be two, four. Get this one. I, I can't see that well. <laughs> and then down here. There you have it. It's a D shaped, it's a D cage, or you know, a, a tripentatonic D, um, D, G, A cage um, um, arpeggio, half diminished arpeggio. Seven, two, four. Okay. So that's where we're going to do that. Now, I guess what I'm just going to do a little change up on you. Let's look at the long pattern for the half diminished triad. Okay, and we'll kind of like build from there. We'll, we'll start from triads and go all the way back to diatonic. So we're going to have the same, the same three notes, same play notes there. The white notes are the play notes. The black notes are either pentatonic or accidentals. And then, so this is what we're left with if we're going to do the uh, half diminished triad. So in AXL, you know that would be in the A box, right? So this would be the A box C. Okay, the seventh of that A box. Wow, well, we could do something like this. Okay, so we just start on the seven and follow the... The diatonic. So the A box is usually the, the full string shapes five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five, six, right? So it's five, six, seven, root two, three, four, five, six. But we're only going to play the seventh in the in the AXL, the two in the RXL, and the four. So it's like a little there's two minor thirds right there. Okay, so you know what's coming up on that E box. We're going to go 7-2. Like that. And then the fourth on the C box warped up. And the G box is going to be this, the seventh again. Okay? So that's the half diminished triad arpeggio. And then you, you just figure out how you're going to put some chords together doing this. Let, let's just uh, bop down to the... Uh, Let's bop down to the... We're talking about putting chords together. Okay, so in the A box here, we're right here. All right, so if we're going to put chords together, it'd be like... Don't worry about it. This is a pentatonic uh, fretboard, but the 7 is still playable in our case. It'd be 7, 2, 4, 7, 2, 4 right there. You know, you can put together the chords as you like. Okay, so... If we want to stay in the string shapes, all right, so if we're starting on a G string shape, it would be seven out of the G string shape. Goes to the D string shape, we're going to take a two there. Okay, then we go to, we skip the A string shape, all right, and we need a four there. Okay, so we go two to four in the D string shape. We skip the A string shape, and then we're going to go to what? The seven again. So it's seven, two, four in that E string shape. There's the two in the E string shape and then the four. And you just put together chords out of that. Okay, so for the first, uh, I don't know, the first um, four strings down here, you know, you could do a bottom a bottom chord there with seven, four, seven, four. I do that a lot. 
you know, I'll, I'll try to make a, like a little chord like that. This isn't a class on how to make half diminished chords, but you'll see me relying heavily on familiar chord shapes when we're talking about doing that, such as making substitutions, you know, and that kind of thing. Okay, so let's look at the long pattern sack for the half diminished pentatonic, same thing. You know, these are strange numbers, but in the AXL box right here, we've just played six and seven. In the RXL, we play two and three. And in the, in the 4XL, we play four and six. This is a long interval. So let's say we're, we're in the A box. Here's our C, ba -ba -ba to G. But now we want to do this, you know, we're doing some arpeggios. Now we want to do a half diminished thing. We'll start with, we'll do something like. Okay, that kind of thing. So we've got our six, seven. Starting on the five, remember we we're A shape five, A shape C. So that that's our five in the key of C. Okay, here's the seven. So we're gonna go six, seven, six, seven, two, three, four, six. Then we can go seven, two, three, four, six, seven. Okay, that's half diminished pentatonic once again, but in the long patterns. Remember, we did it before. It wasn't so bad, but with the long patterns, okay? So that's where you would invoke a long pattern, whether it be to get to a, a, a mixolydian, or mostly if the fret nut was here. See, the capo was here. The capo is here. Now I can't do my A short pattern, right? Whoa. I worked out too and I still okay so I can't do my A pattern so we're going to do a long A pattern okay so the, the, the thing would be the same for half diminished it would be it would be just 6, 7, 4, 6 now it's easy to get that 4, 6 isn't it well I forgot the 2, 3 okay so it's 6, 7, 2, 3 Four, six. So if you're using these things to get off the fret nut, hey, there's an easy, there's an easy long third, major third, right? So that's it, and then keep going up in the, uh, keep going up. Once you get done with the ex with the uh, extra long patterns, you go into an S4E. These are easy as pie. Okay, so you go. Let's go the other way now, and we go look at minor triads. Now, we're going to spend not too much time on minor triads, because it's the same thing, it's just with the six. Oh, triads, yes, we're going to spend time on triads, sorry. Um, we're not going to spend that much time on minor pentatonic, because it's really uh, just what is a pentatonic scale in the long pattern, and we've got it right here, root two three five six five six goes into root two three so the thing looks you know a little bit like um like a backwards z or something it's okay and what i usually do is if i'm starting let's say in the a shape c so i know this is a shape if i do a long pattern like that i know i've gone to the next cage shape up cage you know, I'd be it finishing off with a G shape there so I could just do the bottom part of this like this okay but this is diatonic but we want to do pentatonic so it's I could go right into the G shape pentatonic or I can go and finish that G shape pentatonic So that works. Um, it's up to you. Remember, it's one cage shape up. 